Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you guys are looking for something that is rather great, then look no further because today's video is going to be all those wonderful things and so much more. Thankfully to the likes of a Reddit user that wants you to believe that the male wound that has been created or the inverted being turned into this horrible smelling wound thing that they want to make you believe that it is in fact a it's anything but that, but they, in fact, it is part of uh, the person's butt and things that come from the person's butt end up in that hole. But that's another story entirely. Anyway, my friends, this is a gross story that a transgender individual wants you to believe that whatever that person had done to them is actually better than the female alternative. Um, so I'm going to let you guys decide which one you want to prefer the most. But personally, I'm all for the female, the real thing. Thank you very much. Anyway, this is from Hazel Appleyard. This is gross. Yes, be prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Man lists all the ways that surgical created fake you-know-what are better than the real you-know-what. Notice that most of the reasons are all about how useful they are to men as a whole to just use. Gross male mentality. Well, yes, not all males think like this, but Alas, it's only seemingly like this individual. So advantages of a trans, a word that I hate, a female, thank you very much. Don't be derogatory at all. I've pissed off a lot of TERFs who have regarded this subreddit and have DM'd me saying, I'll never be a woman. Oh, I wonder what gave away that. The fact that you have trans in front of woman? Maybe? I don't know. Who gives a, yeah, uh, I'm already fabulous. I'm fabulous, baby. Look at me. I'm a man eater. Stay mad. Oh, I'm sure all the women are really mad at you, my friend. Quite mad. You're a man eater. Ha, huh. you're gay. I hate to break it to you, but you're gay. I don't think any women are going to be really jealous of you because you're gay. You're going after men and you are a biological man. So just have to get that out of the way. I don't think women are going to be really going, oh, he's going after gay men. Okay, fair enough. No skin off my bone. So what? I'm not in competition with you. <laughs> Forget it. I truly believe that the dolls, meaning transgender individuals, will be the women of the future. I hate to break it to you, mate, but no, no way in hell. Uh, I am still going to go for the likes of real women every day of the week over the likes of you. Not sorry. I'm convinced of that. Well, you may be convinced of it, but I certainly am not. And I'm sure millions, if not billions of other dudes are also convinced of the same damn thing. So anyway, since we always read negative things about trans Vs, I want to spread a bit of positivity and say that an SRS, whatever, surgical removed, you know what, uh, V, can be better than a female V as long as the surgeon does a good job. Um, I didn't think that you need to have surgery in order to get a real V. I thought you were just given the V at birth if you are a woman. But anyway, um, according to this person, if a surgeon does a good job, it's actually better. I don't know how, but please do tell me how it's better. Uh, stop kowtowing to the word that I hate, real women who are mean to us. Oh, no, we can't have mean women being unkind to the likes of men, can we? We can't have women being unkind to the likes of individuals that identify as being women. That's not allowed. When a word I hate woman is mean, I'll read her or for filth. I'm not going to be gentle, okay? You come for me, you'll regret it. That sounds like a threat, if I ever heard one. Don't turn the other cheek. Well, that's a biblical term, isn't it? 
but you have used it wrong. You're supposed to turn the other cheek, but this person's not going to turn the other cheek. Thank you for screwing up the Bible verse. But anyway, here are some advantages. Feel free to expand the list. <laughs> anyway, here we go. You can use a trans V 365 days a year, 24-7. Um, okay. So I'm assuming this person is saying that you can't use a real woman's 365 days a year because they end up having a period. Well, I hate to break it to you, mate, but you can still use it when the woman is on the period. The only time you probably couldn't use it is if the woman's actually in labor or about to give birth, <laughs> which is understandable, something you can't do and never will be able to do. Um, and I wouldn't want to go there when my wife is having my kid. I don't think that's even on my mind at that stage. Just saying. But anyway, you have your 365 days of the year, 24-7 thing, whatever you've got going on for you. Periods are a huge inconvenience and tons of um, real women would rather stop having periods because during a period, a real woman splits mucus and blood and shedding material. Well, yes. Okay. And so what's your point? That you can't use it and women would rather not have it. Um, it's part of being a woman. Um, yeah, women, let me know in the comments what you think about that one. <sighs> Here we go. Here's all the fun stuff. You can let a man, you know what, in your, I love how this person puts SRS, not real. Just, I've got to include the fact that it's a surgical inclusion not a real thing that has been given to me at birth, but anyway, without risk of getting pregnant. So you're actually admitting that you can't get pregnant. How about that, man? So you're admitting that you can't get periods, first and foremost, and secondly, you're admitting that you can't get pregnant. Well, at least you know that part. At least you're, you're not that delusional. <laughs> because believe you me, there's a lot of people out there that are just like you, but are incredibly delusional thinking they got a period and thinking that they're actually pregnant. Bah, wow. Um, but you know what? You Men can still, you know what, inside of the real females without the risk of getting pregnant too. Like there is a stage in a woman's cycle where if you do ejaculate inside of the female, there is like zero risk of her getting pregnant. You learn that like in biology class. But anyway, there's like, if you want zero risk whatsoever, then go after the man with a fake hole created for him. Anyway, you can let a man, you know what, uh, inside your fake V without risk of getting HIV. Now I screen my male partners anyway, but still. Sounds like you're a little bit uh a little bit cautious there, mate. Like if there's no risk, why do you still screen for them? Just gotta be precautious and just gotta be careful. Well, I have you know that uh you still gotta be careful with whoever you're with. Just saying. Um, an SRSV is aesthetically pleasing if they do a good job. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've seen images of what it actually looks like, and it doesn't look pretty, pretty to me. Uh, a real woman's vagina looks 10 times better and always look, will look 10 times better than the likes of something that has been surgically created. I'm just saying. Um, uh, <laughs> There's no fishy discharge in a trans, but there could be um, a SHIT smell discharge. As we know, there could be other things that can be released into that hole. There's could be an infection that you may get, which may not be pretty, but anyway, um, no, 
uterine fibroid, cervical cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, no endometriosis. So you're saying all of that um, and you're actually admitting that you're not a woman because only women have all that. So, okay, well done to you, mate. You're admitting something <laughs> that you're not really a woman. Well done. Tons of real women have uh, prolapse after giving birth and surgeons have to stitch them up. I've seen several real women or real with hypertrophic scars or keloids down there. Not a great sight. <laughs> you know what? I'd still prefer that over the likes of a fake thing that a surgeon has created and knowing that I'm still doing a man. Sorry, not going to happen ever. Um, stronger pelvic muscles to wrap around a, you know, what and send a man in ecstasy. Okay. Yuck. But anyway, uh, tighter opening. So these are some of the reasons as to why men should date a transgender individual, a man that identifies being a woman that has had a surgical intervention. They're all pathetic excuses and they're actually admitting that you're not really a woman. But anyway, embrace your trans. It's a designer. Okay, interesting. Stop focusing on the alleged differences. There's plenty of them and we need to focus on them. We do because they're not the same thing. Real vaginas are in no way perfect, no shade, but the female reproductive system is highly flawed and it needs maintenance. So what are you saying? That yours is perfect, is it? Like, of course, we're human. We've got um, impurities about us. But so what? It makes us human. Not somebody that is identifying as being something they're actually not. That's like majorly flawed, man, if you haven't thought about that. But anyway, lastly, there are real women who get fistulas too and eject fecal matter from their vagina. This is a complication that can happen in real and trans women alike. Right, okay. There are, I, I don't think I've ever heard of that happening, but maybe I'm not very well-versed in that particular subject. Um, Anyway, ladies, maybe you can help me in the comment section. Let me know if I'm missing something there. There are real women that pass urine, fecal matter, and gas through their vaginas. You don't believe me. There's a, obviously a Mayo Clinic article, which you can look at. But still, it's a real vagina. It's real. I still prefer the real vagina over something that is fake any day of the week. I'm just saying. All right. That's enough from me. I told you it would be rather gross and may upset some of you, but that's just the way some people think, unfortunately. Men will try and convince you, especially the delusional ones, that what they've done to themselves is actually 10 times better than the likes of a real woman. I can't believe it. Well, I can believe it, but it's still absurd if you ask me. Anyway, my friends, you take care. You be blessed. And I'll see you all in the next video.